Hi everyone, welcome to another Instagram Live. It's been a few minutes since I've shown up on here and I'm sorry, but thank you guys um, that are coming to watch today or that are watching the replay. Um, I was supposed to go live yesterday and didn't, so here we are. Um, but yeah, today I'm gonna be talking about, so originally I was gonna talk about three ways to reach your dream tribe online, but as you guys know, I love Instagram. So we'll be talking about three ways to reach your dream tribe on Instagram. Um, and this is something that I've been utilizing myself. I don't like to do ads um, to gain followers or to get people um, to like see my Instagram. I really try to be as organic um, as possible with the way that I gather followers. Obviously, if I have something to promote, I don't mind putting ads, um, a little ad spend behind that, but most of the time I'm trying to keep people um, I'm trying to bring people in that are just interested in what I have to say and what I have to share and not necessarily um, just everybody that wants to follow me can follow me. So I try to be really intentional about that. So before we dive into the three ways to reach your dream tribe on Instagram, I wanna talk about um, kind of leading up to that, one of the most important things, which as you guys know, I talk about this a lot, but you really, oh, Something Simple said, yes, thank you for being real. Oh, that makes me really happy. I'm glad that you enjoy that. Um, it took me a while to um, feel comfortable enough to be myself and be real, but that's what I'm gonna talk about today. Um, so yeah, before you start reaching your dream tribe, it's really, really important for you to define your dream tribe so you know exactly who they are and what they need to hear from you very specifically. So. And I'll give you a lot of examples about that. You can see my cat behind me. Um, so first of all, and for those of you that haven't signed up, there's a worksheet on this. I have a 30-day Insta strategy training in one hour. It's a whole workbook with like a 12-minute training video. Um, and the first worksheet is a target market worksheet that asks really, really good questions. Um, and I've, getting, I've been getting a lot of good feedback about especially the target market, because none of us ever spend any time defining our target market, mostly because we're scared to um, kind of niche down and get specific, because we don't want to leave anybody out. Um, but it's really, 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 really important, um, and I highly recommend that you do that. So if you want to grab that, you can grab it on my site at brandstrategyco.com forward slash freebie. Um, you just put your email in and you can get instant access to the training video and the whole workbook that you can print out or just um, pull up on your computer and write in your notebook. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> Aren't you driving to Philly right now? Get off of Instagram. Um, and you should also think about what your target market, what they care about. So as it relates to your business, but also in general. So I have a really good example for that in a second. And then also, what do they need to hear from you as you are as an expert in your industry as a business owner um, the link is brandstrategyco.com forward slash freebie let me know if that works um, and you you do want to be specific you do want to niche down as far as who you want to be talking to and who your dream tribe is and your dream tribe is a collection of your dream clients who you'd love to work with who you would love to have be a customer in your business so what are they like what do they care about what are they excited about why do you want them specifically over other people um, and like I said the worksheet gets really into the specifics of like asking obviously age gender location is always huge what is their income what's their relationship status what is, um, what's their daily, day-to-day -day life? Do they wake up and go straight to a coffee shop or to a gym or whatever? What's their life like? Um, so really getting in there, um, getting in the mind of your target market and then speak to that specific person every time you post on Instagram. Um, Kate, thank you for putting that freebie there. Hi, you guys. I'm glad you, everybody's here today. Um, so that's, very important to find your dream tribe before you start trying to reach them because if you're trying to talk to everybody you're talking to no one and that's not my quote and I forget who said that but it's a good one 
Um, and the other thing I want to talk about is once you have your deep dream tribe defined, you want to really push yourself to get out of your own way on Instagram and in real life. Um, but on Instagram, be yourself, be authentic. And this is like, this is like a mindset shift just in general. I think we could all use a little bit um, of a push to quit doubting ourselves so often. But when you feel that way about yourself and it transforms into your Instagram and into your content um, and you're just unapologetically yourself and you're not constantly trying to just like fit your business into this like little bubble or this little box, it's like, I talk about social media and photography and my clients and my blogs and that's it and this is it's very robotic and it's you know a five-step system um if you kind of remove that idea that nobody wants to hear from you specifically as a human and actually start being yourself you'll realize that you're automatically going to attract those people that are super super interested in what you have to offer and what you're talking about so um, one of the questions that I like to think about is what do you stand for as a human, not just as a business owner? What do you stand for and what do you love and believe in that can be infused into your business? So some things are unrelated, like I love essential oils, but it doesn't really translate to my business as a marketing consultant and an Instagram strategist. That doesn't really, it's hard for me to connect those dots unless I'm very specifically talking to only oilers, which I'm not. So that's something I'm passionate about, but that doesn't really translate into my Instagram. But um, a good example of this is um, I have a client that's a photographer. And obviously there are bajillions of photographers in the world and on Instagram specifically. And she stands out because she is not afraid to take a stand on her beliefs and she infuses them into her business. So. The client I'm talking about specifically, she is a feminist and she will shout it from the rooftops and from her Instagram captions. And it's fantastic to see, obviously, as a woman, but I love watching the way that she approaches her business content and her Instagram posts while staying in that realm of this is who I am, this is what I believe in. And it's it's so infused that she is for sure, I guarantee it, turning off a lot of people that are seeing that. Um, and that's a really, really good thing. She is completely like rejecting and scaring away the people that are not her dream tribe and not her dream clients. And then she's going above and beyond and being herself and talking about things that are really important. And the women that connect with that and that are like, oh, here's a female business owner that is speaking on topics that are really near and dear to my heart and she's offering this service that I need. Like, who am I going to go to, her or the person that's hiding behind their Instagram, hiding behind their phone screen and not saying anything of substance or interest other than, hey, I have a new special, fall mini sessions are up, check it out, link in profile. There's no connection there and there's no, there's no reason that I would remember you over this other person. So anyway, please be yourself on Instagram, long story short yourself. So now let's dive into three specific ways to reach your dream tribe on Instagram and how to go about it. So hi you guys, thanks for coming. So one is actually an idea that I stole from Gary Vee. Um, if you guys don't know him, Gary Vaynerchuk, he is an interesting man. Um, if you follow him on Instagram, he will whip you into shape. Um, there are no excuses when it comes to him. But I love the way that he thinks about content. Uh, he has a whole book, he's like eight books about content specifically, and it's really, really important. And I highly recommend, especially jab, 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 right hook. Um, it's great. But he talks about, I think he talked about it on his Instagram, about taking the time to be intentional on your Instagram comments on other people's content. So he says, Use hashtags, type in a really popular hashtag that's relevant to your industry that your target market follows. So not some, not a hashtag that you specifically are interested in, but a hashtag that your target market is interested in that is fairly popular and that they're interacting with and engaging with. Type one of those hashtags in and stay in the popular feed 
side of things and scroll through some of the recent posts and the pop like the most recent popular posts and start finding some posts that really speak to you as far as the captions go, something that you feel like you um, agree with or disagree with or have some sort of response to and share it. Share your response really, really thoughtfully, really intentionally um, in the comment section of that post. And then go even one step further and respond to the other comments that are happening in that post and start making those connections with people that um, feel a certain way about a topic that's very related to your business. And you as the expert in your industry can then showcase, hey, I know a little bit about this and this is where I stand on it or this is what I recommend or whatever it is, just going, um, going out of your way to be really intentional about um, positioning yourself as the expert in your specific industry. So that is a Gary B tip of the day. And then you can do a very similar thing, but instead of going through the hashtag system, you can go just to your favorite industry hotshots, like the best, the big leaders in your industry, and be really, really active in their comment section as well. Um, but I did want to know, make sure that your make sure that their current audience, the people that are following them, are aligned with who your dream tribe is. So for example, if you are a wedding bakery and you do wedding cakes and you have this industry um, of hot shots of other wedding bakeries, that's not who you want to be interacting with necessarily for this reason because your target market isn't interacting with all of the best industry uh, wedding bakery artists. Um, because they're not interested in wedding cakes necessarily, but they're interested in your wedding cakes. Um, so instead of, yes, instead of interacting with those types of, which you should, but for different reasons. But what I'm talking about specifically is instead interacting with um, wedding blogs that your target market is interested in. So maybe it's a local, um, if you have like the Knot nearby, maybe it's the Knot Philly, you can interact with their Instagram and leave really intentional comments on there because you know your, um, your dream tribe and your potential brides are paying attention to that specific feed. They're hanging out there, they're interacting, they're engaging, they're looking for ideas, they're looking for inspiration, they're looking for vendors. And there you are and you show up with really solid advice or recommendations or opinions. Um, and it's a great way to just reach your dream tribe and bring them in. So that's my second way to reach your dream tribe on Instagram. And then the third way is to kind of rinse and repeat everything that I've said about being yourself, being authentic, being unapologetically you, um, but in your own Instagram content. So on your Instagram lives, in your Instagram stories, on your um, daily post, talk about the things that you're passionate about and that you're talking about on other people's um, posts in the comment section bring that also back to your own content as well. So when you're attracting this dream tribe and they're coming to you for the first time and they look at your past content, it aligns the whole way across. So they're like, oh, she's really, really passionate about this thing and she talks about it a lot and I'm excited. So I'm gonna hit that follow button instead of coming to your profile, seeing that you're kind of all over the place or maybe just talking about your business too much and it's not that interesting so that they, you attract them in the initial comments, but then they come over and they don't actually follow you, which is the main purpose, and that's how you um, build out that dream tribe. So those are my three tips. Use hashtags, popular hashtags, and get in those comments. Comment on your favorite industry leaders' um, Instagram posts. Try to be Try to be like, try to show up pretty often if you can. Um, obviously, Instagram takes more time than we wish it did. But if you can show up and be intentional, it's super, super wonderful. Um, and also, everybody that's live, if you guys have questions, oh, thank you. If you guys have questions about Instagram or comments or tribes or uh, reaching people or whatever it is, feel free to um, chat down down below in the chat box. Um, this is my first time watching your live. Awesome, well welcome, I'm happy to have you here. I missed a couple weeks, so I'm glad that I can be back in 
back in action. Um, yeah, if you guys have comments or um, questions, let me know, or comments, let me know in the chat because I will answer some questions at the end. Um, but I also wanted to share, if you guys missed it and you want more Instagram strategy, I dive into very specifically um, the target market section in my free training, 30 day Instagram strategy in one hour. There's this whole workbook, which has I think like six worksheets and you can print it or you can just pull it up on your computer and write in your notebook. And then there's a 12 minute training video just to kind of go over the worksheets. But each worksheet should take you about 10 minutes. So it's literally one hour of strategy to plan um, a crap ton of Instagram content, like really intentional, specific Instagram content, which is what we're talking about today. So, ooh, I have some comments. Um, oh, and you can grab that at brandstrategyco.com forward slash freebie. And I think if you guys scroll up, it's in the chat. Um, so... Gina asks, what would you say is the most important first step to creating an Instagram page for a new brand that you are creating? Um, so the step that I take before defining my target market is defining my objectives for being on Instagram. So what is your purpose of Instagram? Why are you posting? What do you want? Do you want sales? Do you want um, new clients? Do you want blog readers? Do you want email subscribers? Like really think about what your purpose is as far as your business metric that you can measure. So um, yeah, customers, income, subscribers, leads, that sort of thing. So really think about that, which is super important, obviously, because you want to know why you're showing up and why you're going to have an Instagram in the first place. Um, and then go that next step and do um, some really, really like dig deep about your target market and ask questions about who they are, what they want, what they need, what you can share with them. Um, one of my favorite questions is basically, what is their biggest pain point or frustration as it relates to your business and your industry? And then how can you help them? How can you solve that problem? And maybe like for me, this is a perfect example on this live. My target market really struggles with Instagram and showing up and creating content that um, that works, that converts basically. They really, really struggle with it. And a lot of times it's not necessarily like eight different ways to create, you know, great content or 20 content ideas. It's more like it's a mindset shift. So I show up on Instagram, on this Instagram live to talk about things related to that that aren't necessarily, um, I go a little bit above and beyond with the way that I teach what I teach because I know my target market really well and I know what their specific hangups are and I really try to connect those dots for them. So great question. Um, Dottie says, great to hear the message, message about objectives and goals and target markets being a main focus. <laughs> yes, for sure. And it should be, it should be, um, it should be at the beginning, like as you're getting started and then come back to it and remind yourself. Um, one of the exercises that I did this year and I'm probably overdue for it since I've kind of changed up my offerings, but I love to create my ideal client persona where I have a picture that I got from like Pinterest or a stock site of a woman that's in my age range um, for my target market. She has a name, she gets, um, a family, she gets a job, she gets an annual income, she gets her main frustrations, she gets like a diary, like journal entry about what she's struggling with and what she wants. Like she gets all of this very specific information. And then every time I write a blog post or write an Instagram post or I'm changing up my services or thinking about my next product launch, I'm thinking about her specifically. I'm talking to her specifically in that Instagram caption. So I highly recommend having a really good idea of who you're talking to every time you're out there, whoops, every time you're talking to people um, because you want to reach the right people. It's very, very important. Um, and you do want to turn off the wrong people because why waste your time entertaining them? Why waste your time getting on the phone with them or trying to book them when you don't really want to work with them in the first place? So that's my 25 cents. 
Um, let's see, how do you handle those off days when you're not inspired to post on Instagram? Especially as an introverted entrepreneur, yes, hello, that is me for sure. Um, there's a lot of different things that I do. I struggle with Instagram a lot of times because of that specific thing, because I don't fully feel like showing up and opening myself up and being social every day as an introvert. I already have to do it with clients and um, in real life and with my kids and their sports and like other people and it's just a lot. And then to go that extra step and be social on Instagram, it's definitely tiring. Um, a couple things that have helped, one, I give myself permission to not show up on Instagram if I don't want to, period. Um, I'd rather do that than put up like a blah post that my audience sees and is like, this was not worth my time. So I do give myself permission to just not show up. And I highly recommend that you do that as well. The other thing that I do is I do um, use my own strategy to create um, where is it? my content topic calendar. So I write down different topics for every day of the week. And then I go an extra step and schedule some posts for the month. Um, so a lot of times my content is pre-written and pre-scheduled. And I like to try to schedule or I like to try to um, write those captions and create that content when I'm in a place of inspiration, when I'm excited about what I'm doing, when I'm excited to share, when I'm really pumped up about whatever my offerings are, whatever my new blog post is. I want to be in that mindset as I'm creating that content. So, and this is called 30 day Instagram strategy in one hour for a reason, because I don't want you to expect to be in that like zone of genius every day of your life, every time you're on Instagram. So I take all of like the work, like the pre-work of the target market and the content topic, weekly, weekly calendar and things like that. And then I try to create as much content as possible intentionally when I'm inspired. So I hope that's helpful. But yeah, you don't need to, if you don't, if you're not feeling it, don't do it. It's very important. Um, someone else asked, do you focus on branding for Facebook? No, I do not. I have a Facebook page for my business. And if you look on there, nobody's on there. If you look at my comments, I get pretty much one comment a post and it's my mom. Thank you, mom. And yeah, my audience isn't there and I'm not there. Like I don't like Facebook. So basically when I post on Instagram, I click the button that says also post this on Facebook and that's my Facebook social media strategy. Um, and everybody's different and every business is different and every industry is different. But for me, Facebook is not where it's at, so I don't waste my time there. Um, so, yeah. But if you guys don't have any other questions, I'm going to real quick remind you again of the 30-day Instagram strategy training in one hour, workbook and 12-minute training video. Um, it's my favorite opt-in that I've created thus far in my business. So. I highly recommend checking it out. It's a really quick, but very beefy training. And I really, really recommend it. And I've gotten a lot of good feedback from you guys that have already gone through it. I've had like 500 people already opt in for that. So it's a hot ticket item and I highly recommend it. And it's free, so go check it out and do it. Take the time to do it. Actually download things, actually sit down and go through it. Don't just watch the training and then forget about it. Like watch the training as you're filling things out. I tell you to pause the training in between worksheets to like really think about it. Um, so actually do the training, don't just download it. But absolutely, thank you Kate for coming. All right guys, bye. Okay, I got my text.